हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर पद्मावती तुंगतुर्ती फ्रॉम टीच कनेक्ट आई एम अ क्वालिटी एजुकेशन स्पेशलिस्ट आई ट्रेन टीचर्स एंड मैंटोर प्रिंसिपल लेट इज नाउ टॉक अबाउट होलिस्टिक प्रोग्रेस कार्ड विच इज डेवलप्ड बाय द सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन वट्स द एम ऑफ दिस होलिस्टिक प्रोग्रेस कार्ड एंड वॉट एक्चुअली आर द फीचर्स ऑफ दिस होलिस्टिक प्रोग्रेस कार्ड Holistic Progress Card is developed by CBSE and this aim to provide a more comprehensive and multidimensional assessment of student progress. It connects the parent with the student and with the school. That's with the teacher. There are a few salient features. The first one being multidimensional reporting. The multidimensional reporting means there is a 360 degree assessment and view done by the teacher across cognitive affective socio emotional and psychomotor domains cognitive affective and psychomotor domains these are covered in the lesson plan whereas socio emotional domain is dependent purely on the observation of the teacher and this also has to be assessed by the teacher and the second one how participatory and inclusive is the child that is how about the self assessment peer assessment and the parent assessment also along with the teacher assessment teacher assessment is however there but is the child showing interest in self assessment assessing oneself and also in the peer assessment this is what the teacher should be observing and the third one is varied assessment methods that is uh, are the teachers working on the inquiry based learning are they working on multimodal assessments like quizzes presentation project based learning and competency based learning how is the teacher observing the child this is where socio emotional learning and socio emotional observation comes in to add into the holistic progress report card and now the fourth one is progressive skill development skill development is a, an important component of this progress card what skills is a child good at for example if we are looking at the foundational stage literacy and uh, foundational numeracy that is the teacher is expected to see how much of skill the child has in writing the numbers reading and how how about the pronunciation all these 13 curricular goals which are given in the cbse progress card are to be observed graded in order to allow the parent to understand how the child is performing at school the fifth one is emphasis on the personal growth that is how is the child allowing himself to learn the component independently is the child able to plan the learning growth that is is the child understanding the strengths and weaknesses this is what an observation has to be made by the parents the peers and by the teacher too and now they, they this progress report the last component is the sixth one that is it should have a long term review we are not working on overnight review or immediately we are not too excited about the skills which are developed uh, intermittently and the skills must be showing continuous growth in the learning curve that is how when we look at this component six components in the holistic progress report that is multi dimensional reporting of the student and the participatory and inclusive attitude the various assessment methods and progressive skill development then emphasis on personal growth and long term review if the child is able to look at all these components again in self review peer review and the teacher review parent review this is called the holistic progress report that is the 360 degree view of the progress report has been observed we are calling it as progress report and not report card we should not take time to assimilate this component called holistic progress report thanks for watching my video like my video share it and subscribe to my channel